Suppose we wish to compute the area under a chi-square distribution given a value for the degrees of freedom. The command we need is chi-square CDF and the structure of the command is as follows. You call up the chi-square CDF command, you type in a lower bound, an upper bound, and then the degrees of freedom and these are separated by commas. So for example, suppose we wish to determine the area under a chi-square distribution to the left of 5 with 12 degrees of freedom. Here's how you can do it. You go under second and vares, this is the distribution menu, and you scroll down until you see chi-square CDF. Then you type in the lower bound, which is 0, the upper bound, which is 5, and then the degrees of freedom, which are 12. Now, the lower bound for chi-square distributions will be zero. Chi-square distributions are always positive, so any lower bound would be zero. Now, a second example, suppose we wish to determine the area to the right of the value of 4.3 under a chi-square distribution with 22 degrees of freedom. Well, in order to do this, again, we visit the distribution menu, and we scroll down until we see chi-square CDF, Then we type in the lower bound of 4.3, and then the upper bound, which is the largest number the calculator can store, 1E99. And then the degrees of freedom, which are 22 for this example. And we get almost 1 for the answer. Now as a final example, suppose we wish to determine the area between 3.2 and 5.7, under a chi-square distribution with five degrees of freedom. So again we visit the distributions menu. We go ahead and select chi-square CDF. We type in the lower bound 3.2 in this example and then we type in the upper bound 5.7 for this example and then the degrees of freedom which are five and we get an area a little bit more than 33 percent. And this is how you can find the area under a chi-square distribution given a degree of freedom for the TI-8384 calculators.